Hey guys, Oni here with episode 54 of our Ditech Factorio Let's Play, season three. All right. Okay, so got the majority of that move done. So and they're still working on some stone down here, but that's on purpose. Uh, basically, you saw that all I was doing was swapping out the storage chests, which I actually missed one right here, but I can use that to demonstrate, uh, and swapping them out for active provider chests, which was then forcing the items out of those chests into the storage chests up here. And I want to take a moment to discuss how that works, in case any of you guys watching don't already know. So, the way that the storage system and the logistics system in Factorio works, and the way that you can think about it, is that everything or all the, the decisions that it makes regarding where it gets certain items and where it puts items are made around uh, requests made by requester chests. So, what I mean when I say that is that when you request an item, uh, such as a speed module one with a requester chest, the way that the system looks and decides where it can get that item from is determined by different priorities. And those priorities are in the following order. So, if I have a, a requester chest that's requesting five speed module ones, the first place it's going to look is going to be an active provider chest. So, if there is an active provider chest in the network that has speed module one, then it will first grab it from that. If there are no active provider chests that have speed module one, it will then move on and look for that look for it in a storage chest in the network in the network if there are no storage chests that contain a speed module one it will finally look for a speed module one inside of a passive provider chest if it cannot find anything there then obviously you're not going to get the item but that's the order it looks and that's the order in which it looks for the item so it'll look first in an active provider chest it'll then look in a storage chest and then finally it'll look for it in a passive provider chest so Storage chest is also really used. You can use it for long-term storage like I'm using it for. And the reason that it worked for me is that when, when an item is taken out of an active provider chest, it is first, uh, it, first it checks to see if, there's, if there are any requester chests that are requesting that item. Because as we just said, that has the highest priority for requester chests. If there are no requester chests that are requesting that item, it will send that item from the active provider chest into a storage chest using some rules. And those rules are, it will try to send it to the first available uh, storage chest that it finds that has the same item already inside of it. So for example, we have these two storage chests here, right? They, they both have resin, but this one filled up first, or, or sorry, this one filled up first, right? So if I added resin to an active provider chest, it would try to route it to this one and say, okay, well, this one's full. Well, this one already has resin, so I want to go here, but this one's full. So then it'll try to find the next one that has resin, which is this one, but this one's full too. So then if it, if it cannot find a, ch a storage chest that already has the same item in it that has available space, it will then, quote unquote, open up a new chest for that item. What that, all that means is that it'll find the next available storage chest that has space for it, and it'll put it in there. And then from then point forward, as long as that same chest has storage space, it will then route that item to that new storage chest as long as, you know, provided that the earlier two don't have any space for it and the earlier two still contain the same item. Basically, all that means is that uh, an item going from an active provider chest into a storage chest will try to go to the first available chest that has the same item already. If it can't find it, it'll just put it into a different chest that has space. Long story short. <laughs> so, uh, we got... Follower count 11. Let's go for follower count uh, two. Uh, let's go, actually, let's go for combat robotics six. Okay, so th that's why I was able to just easily sw uh, move out all my storage into these larger chests by using active provider chests because nothing was requesting any of these items. So they were just immediately routed out to the nearest chest that already had the same item. And otherwise, they were just routed to a chest that was open. All right, so I also went ahead and swapped out the final chests in these lines here for an active provider chest so that they always have space to put stuff in uh, so that it never it always it will always keep going provided that I have storage space somewhere for these items over here which I should have storage space for quite a while uh, yeah I got all this extra space now not really worried about space but I still will add like 12 more of these guys just because it's always nice to future proof so uh, I guess as, as an, another example is that this one has resin in it and some corpses now the, both chests that already have resin are full and I can show you how this works by taking out some resin and putting them in this one right here so this chest right here if what I said is correct and I'm I mean it's on the wiki so I'm pretty sure it's correct 
But what should happen is that once I change this over to an active provider chest, all the resin should go to this chest. So, let's see. And what do you know? All the resin is now being routed into this chest first because this chest already had resin inside. And the other two that had resin already inside are full and have no space left. Voila. Okay. Pick that up. And we, are, we also have some extra junk we need to get rid of real quick. So, this corpse, uh, this bones, and I'll keep the rest. You can have this and this. And this. Okay. All right. I also added like 50 robots, so I'm up to like 112 Mark II logistics, logistics robots, so I shouldn't have any problem with the robot count anytime soon. Okay. So, uh, last time we had mentioned that we we're getting down to the final leg of this copper field that we've been mining on for quite a while now. Uh, it looks kind of silly, but, you know, it is what it is, and now these guys are done too, so I need to sort of zombify and move them somewhere else, which is going to start tapping into the other ones that are already there. They're going to be sharing in the same area, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. So, we had decided that we're going to try to mine into this field down here, or let's see if there's anywhere else I can look. Uh, all I see is red. <laughs> uh, there's a giant field up here. Holy crap. Um, that's probably going to be a train getting up there. Uh, the ones that are nearby that I can get are this one, and it looks like that's not really, that's not copper, so I can't get that. That's copper right there, not a lot. Copper right here, which is sort of in range of express belts. I can probably use express belts to get there. Uh, but the rest of it is, is going to be probably just trains to get there. Uh, I, I not only do I need copper, but I also, whoops, wrong button. I also need to start getting more gems. So, uh, we have plenty of battery, batteries for our shotgun. But I do have some extra electric engine units in my inventory. I want to grab three more because... Uh, not only did I add that extra reactor that I said I was going to add a couple episodes ago to sort of counteract my damage that I'm taking, but I decided that with the size of my base now, it may be it might be nice to swap out a couple of my shields for one more pair of Omni Legs or the Exoskeleton. I'm not sure why I call them Omni Legs. Uh, whatever. So I need two uh, four by four spaces. So uh, sorry, sorry, two two by twos. My bad. Uh, and we're going to make ourselves uh, another pair of the exoskeleton pants. And we can just put these shield units in the system somewhere. Uh, right here is fine. So, put this in here now. Go a little faster. Alright, let's grab ourselves some marauder capsules. And we can probably s get rid of some of this junk off our hotbar at least. I mean, I know I, know I have... Plenty of space on hotbar now, but just reset it real quick. I want uh, this. I want this, this, uh, this, this, this. These, those, other things, those um, pipes, of course. And uh, repair tool, repair kits, and uh, power poles. Oh yeah, that works. All right. And this, the top bar, I think is yeah. The top bar is your your number number. Uh, your number row or your number pad. So I can use one, two, my eggs, my hotkeys, one, two, three, four for the top row. You can swap it out with this button too. All right. So, uh, first things first, should we get gems first or should we get copper first? Uh, we should have enough copper for the next episode at least. So, at least so let's go and see where the nearest gem field is. Now, I remember it, see, this, there's a nice gem field right here. These, I think, I'm pretty sure these are gems. So, we are quite a ways away from it. But I'm thinking that it's not really worth a train just for those gems. So, I have prepared for this, like I said last time, because I have been making extra express track. So, grab some express belts. Uh, we're also going to need, uh, let's see. This is probably also a good time to use, to start making, or at least implementing, the better, uh, what you call it, it's the better turrets, which is like these ones that made out of the polished rubies. So, let's grab some more polished rubies real quick. And let's go ahead and see, can we make, what else do I need for this? I need just batteries, okay. And I, how many, do, okay, I have five of these guys. Let's grab some more of these guys, the silver guys. And let's grab some more batteries, which I should have plenty of batteries. I don't think I've had a problem with batteries at all. So I can make nine. 
Uh, let's do... Let's do nine. Why not? Yeah, why not? Because I'm going to have to defend this gem outpost. That's for sure. Oop, auto save. All right. And let's see. What else can I get? I think that should be good. Uh, I'm going to use brick walls. That's for sure. Grab some brick walls. And we're going to need a, probably a few more large power poles. Let me request a couple more. Now that I have all this requester space. So, requesting space. Well, let's go for 25. Thank you. And let's see. Uh, gonna need some more walls. Which will kick kicking this guy again, which is good. And uh, I think that should be okay. Yeah, that should be okay. Uh, I already have the miners on me, and getting the gems back should not be difficult. Let's, uh, do I have any gates on me? Because I need some gates. Do I have any gates in the network? Let's ask for some gates and see what we get. If I ask for 25 gates, what do I get? I get 25 gates. Sweet. Thanks, past me. Uh, let's see. This is kind of dark over here. So, uh, let's also request some... Oh, we're already doing that. Already requesting lights. Let's put some lights on our hotbar. Uh, right here, which I could... I need to move this guy down because I moved all this stuff down. So, pick up this stuff. Which are topaz turrets, which are awesome. And now that I've upgraded my laser turret damage, they're up to 50 plus 125 damage, which is amazing. So, let's go ahead and use... Let's break this medium one and use a large power pole. Okay, and let's put them back down. Let's put a light down. And we have two of them are silver topaz, which are going to be in the back, because I don't want them to die. And then the rest are somewhere. Where'd they go? Oh, no, they were... Okay, only two of them were topaz. Okay, well, that's that's slightly less awesome, but uh, <laughs> we can make the rest silver. I thought there was... I thought it, No, no, that, that's no way. I thought there were more than that. Bronze ruby. Okay, well, that sucks. All right, I guess I was mistaken. All right, put a gate here. That's fine. That's all I need to get out. And let's see. Let's also grab... Oh, we already have five. Let's ask for some more poison capsules in case we need a clarity force. 25. That should be in the network. It is. All right. Oh, wait, is it? I think it is. Oh, yeah. I got them. All right. Sweet. Uh, I think that's about it. I may need one more... Actually, you know what? Before we go, I know we're taking a while to leave... We have one beacon. Let's get... In case we need one more. Let's make another beacon real quick. And can we make another miner? We just need some chunk of ruby and some bronze alloy, which we definitely have enough bronze alloy. Right here. Now we're going to do like... Enough for two. Now we need some chunks of ruby, which I think we should have enough of. I think I may have... No, we don't. Because uh, they're all being used to make the turrets over here. So... Wait a minute. Nope. Okay. So I haven't done a corpse collection run in a while. So let's see what I get when I do that. I also have not. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Those are all good. Let's try this. All right. I already saw some red guys. So I'm definitely going to get some rubies out of this. Let's also intercept this guy so he doesn't take these. Give me. Nope, nope, mine. Ah, mine. You know what? I'll do this by force. I'm gonna make you a iron chest instead. Oh, I can't do that because they're still making the uh, what you call it. So let me just turn this off. <laughs> the output. Take it by force like that. And you can go a little faster with some better speed modules. Okay, and I'll put the junk I don't need in here. And that's all I needed, right? I needed, um... Okay, I need... One more. Okay, now you can turn it back on. I'll make you a fast guy, too. Why not? And I'll take that, too. Alright, so we can make... Two more crystal formation mining drills. And we should be good to go. Alright, let's go over here. I mean, I'm, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna get... If this, this uh, gem outpost is gonna get attacked too often, but it's always nice to be prepared. 
So I, you know, it's nice to have these these beefed up turrets, and they're not the beefiest of beefiest, but they are beefed up somewhat, better than bronze, that's for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and head out. Let's get out our shotgun, and the gems are down here. So it might be wise to get rid of the bases that are on the way, so I don't have to deal with them on the way back. So let's go ahead and put down some of our Put down 25 of our guys, even though we can have 44. 25 should be enough for right now. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's good enough. Get rid of the spawners. And then, actually, let's put down a couple more of these guys. 32. We're getting kind of close to this other base. Let's back off. Oh, missing those turrets. All right. Take care of the ads. Shouldn't be that big of a problem for these guys. My frame rate's going to shit. Come on. Come on. And I probably should just kill that base. Yes, let's go for it. So I can have 44. Let's go 40. Scroll up in there like we own the goddamn place. Let our, let our uh, capsule buddies do the most of the work. Put down any more because we've got some losses here. And they just kind of melt these biters. Kind of running low on ammo. Down to two batteries left. Let me, let me let the robots do the rest of the work. All right, let me grab my artifacts that I rightfully won. I say won like it was a contest, like I asked them if they wanted to fight. Like a fair fight, you know? Kind of like the mountain versus a. Uh, I don't, I don't want to think about it. That was that was traumatizing. R.I.P. All right, <laughs> all right. Um, two. Other base down here should be a little bit more, a little bit less difficult because there's only two spawners. There we go. Oh yeah, that was easy. Okay, there's one or two more bases that are nearby where I want to be. Uh, one right here. And this guy should be okay where he's at. Now, let me use some poison capsules to clear out this forest around the gems. It looks like they're in the forest. Spam them down. Oh, yeah. Not really worried about getting poison in my suit. I can take it. All right, so let's see how much we got here. 36, 100, okay, that's nice. 117, good, good. 49, meh. 30, 30, 347, very nice. Uh, 273, okay, this is a good haul. All right, so might not need that many. Oh, actually, no, we're, this, we're probably going to use all five of these guys because they're, they're kind of spread out. So uh, how close are you to this base over here? Pretty close. Close enough to where I'm worried about attacks? Uh, I'm not sure. That's why that's probably about the turrets, though. Turrets are going to help fend off any of these a-holes who want to try to kill me. Uh, I would prefer to have at least a couple Topaz turrets because I know for a fact that some of these guys are going to be spitters that are going to just sit on the outside of the range and uh, harass the shit out of my base. So uh, let's go ahead and set up our power first. Put down a couple power poles right here and let's stretch one back to the base. Make sure, it's, make sure it, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that it's always at the longest point, so I'm not wasting any of it. Oops. And plus, this also makes lets us so, lets us um, tap into this because our power is already going to be here. Our power is already going to be here. I'm trying to say. Right. As my robots slingshot around because they are smart. And boom. Okay. Now they get repaired, which is always nice. But they, eh, they should, they might last until my next excursion. Let's go grab ourselves. Uh, do we have any topaz? I don't think so. Um, wow, frame rate. Come on. I gotta fix that. I, I thought I fixed it before. It was fixed last time. Uh, topaz, topaz. All right, I got some topaz. Sweet. Uh, how many can I make? 
Four silvers, which should be good. Wait, what? Oh. Let's do five. Let's do six. All right. So now we just need... Uh, let's grab some more of our Marauder capsules. Oh, my God. Let me just request them. This is ridiculous. Uh, Marauder, Marauder, Marauder. Okay, let's do 20. And at this point, we have... Probably have enough resources, actually... Still, we're still lowish. Not, I mean, we have 3.7 thousand. That's because of now we're low on iron. I think liquid iron. But I, I I'm not gonna fix that right now because I, I think I've done enough of liquid metals for right now. And I'll fix it off camera if I fix it. Well, I'm gonna fix it, but I'll fix it off camera. Maybe. I might do it. I might do it on camera. We'll see. But I just want to do other things real quick. So, uh, let's. We might be able to bump this guy up to like 50. Especially because we're gonna be using him to make the next level, which is the, uh, sharpshooter. Which, as you can probably guess, it has long range, which is awesome. Uh, we can probably also make ourselves, we need some sapphires, but we can make ourselves a couple extra batteries for our shotgun. And I know that I have extra sapphires because I've been saving them because I turned off the input for uh, for this guy, so he stopped using so many so many of them. Um, there's one, and then I need some more polished emeralds. Let's grab five. Uh, let's do three more. All right. I'll let those craft as I'm running back. Okay, so. Uh, how do we want to set up? Yeah, I'll use Express Track, like I said. Uh, so let's just go back out here now. Now, these guys do produce a nice bit of pollution. And my plan was to use speed modules on the uh, beacon for this guy. But I may end up using a, some speed modules and some effectivity guys just to reduce the pollution a little bit. Because it's going to jump up quite a bit if I use speed modules. But I think I may be able to fend them off even if I do that. Because I have some pretty good turrets. We'll see. So he can fit on all three. Uh, he can fit on two. And still share the same... No, he can't. So... Boom, and then we'll do... Boom, and then boom. Now, if I put a beacon in the middle, he can touch all five, all four. Now, the question is, can I connect all of them up with... Um, now, I, I mean, Express Track is not really necessary here. I could probably use Fast Track and, do this and be just as effective, but I have it, so why not use it? So, let's see if we can do something like... Whoops, wrong way. Something like this. It's going to look kind of weird. And this should be able to fit in the middle still. And touch all four. Okay. And if I put two of these guys in here, and I put some power down here and here, and then connect it up sort of like this. They're still kind of, they're not, they're not slow, but they're not like super fast either. They still take a while to get their materials. So. Uh, we can just go ahead and stretch us, go, stretch us back to our base now. Actually, first, let's set up some defenses. What am I thinking? So how much... I have plenty of walls, I think. Let's go ahead and do a simple setup here. Where... I should be able to put the Topaz turrets in the middle-ish. And they should be able to attack on all four sides. And be okay. And put a gate here. I'm not, I don't think I need to double wall this. Because it's, it's brick. So let's take our Topaz turrets. Silver Topaz. Might I add. And let's put two here, two here, and two here. That should cover all four sides. They do have pretty long range. And worst comes to worst, we have our gold rubies. We can put on the outer edges-ish. Well, we only have nine, so we're going to have to like space them out. Uh, so the majority of the attacks are probably going to come from this, at the bottom right. Oh, sorry. Every, everywhere except behind it, basically. That's what I'm thinking. So... Uh, let's do three here, three here, and three here. Whoops. Let's make it look the same. Three here. And then I have a bunch of silver guys left, I think. Yep. So let's do a couple on the back. Actually, let's do, um, yeah, let's do this, this, and let's wrap it around, kind of. Let's make it look somewhat decent. This, this area is not going to be that attack, that, uh, 
attack that often, I don't think, but we'll see. So let's make an underground express track so we don't have to go, we don't have to break any of the wall. And we can just go like this. Goes pretty far. Whoops, not that far. Okay, and we can just, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we can just go like this. Uh, how much do we have? We have, we should have enough to get back to base, I think. We shall see. Let's tr break this rock here. Sweet, we now have Frenzy Robots, which are the crazy guys who are, have short range, I think, but shoot, like, ridiculously fast. Uh, at this point, we can probably go ahead and get the next level of the laser turret damage. And, oh my god, I'm already under attack. I must have already killed him. Good. Good job. Now, the only drawback here is that there's no robots here to, re to repair these guys, so... That may be a problem. <laughs> uh, we'll see. I may have to, like, have a dedicated network here. Yeah, I'm thinking about maybe putting down one RoboPort here before I leave. Can I make a level one? Yeah. And let's make some, uh... We could probably get away with... I do have some robot frames on me, don't I? Robot frames on me somewhere? I thought I did. Are they staring me in the face? No, they're not. If I make a Mark II bot... Oh yeah, I have to make it by hand, so... Kind of sucks. Oh yeah, these guys are easy. They're like level... Like, what? You guys vanilla? Get out of my face! Alright, so let's put down a network right... Here. Uh, can I fit it somewhere? Can I fit it anywhere in here? Come on. Come on. In the back somewhere? In the back right here? Right here? No? How about right here? Right there works. Alright. So I will put in... Uh, one Mark III bot. Mark II bot, sorry. That should be good enough. And then he knew he uses the highly advanced repair packs, which do I have any on me? I think I have just the advanced. So let's make a couple highly advanced. Wants to be all fancy. And I'll give this to him. And this should keep our base up kept well, it should should be able to do the upkeep by himself, unless he gets attacked. In which case I may want to put two down. But I think we we're gonna try with just one and see how that works. And another benefit of leaving these trees here is that the biters cannot just come straight for me. They have to, like, navigate through the trees first, which is also pretty good. So, uh, here you go. Your highly advanced repair pack. And we'll take our gems that we got, and we will be on our way. So, um, let's just clear out some more of this forest here. I got plenty of emeralds to use for batteries, so... Okay. So, I can't really do diagonal track, so... We're gonna have to do like zigzags. Or just go right to the left and then go up. I mean, like I said, I do have plenty of emeralds, but I'm not gonna like, try to waste the ammo, you know? Clear out a nice swath of it. Okay, now this is in the way. Okay, I might not have enough. I may have overestimated that. <laughs> Uh, where am I at? Okay, not close enough yet. And there's the base over here-ish, but I don't think that track produces pollution, so they shouldn't really be a, that attracted to the, to the track. Unless I'm just missing some basic mechanic that I don't remember. But I, I think that I should be good as far as them attacking the track. Whoops, there's a random worm there. I guess that was from the other base that was here. Get out of the way. Come on. Clear out this forest. And I should be able to go to about right here, I think is good. Walk up a little bit. Yeah, I, that should be good. All right. Uh, yeah. So let's turn up. And I think I might have... Oops, didn't connect that piece over here. Oops, and then I broke this guy, and then, oh, what's up with the deal? What's the deal? Am I, am I going too fast? Walking too fast? Yeah, I think I'm walking a little bit too fast. No worries. All right, so now, uh, where is my network at? Because I really just want to put this in a requester chest, or, sorry, provider chest, and then have it be, have that be, have that be it. Uh, let's go ahead and build a underground express track real quick, and of course we are out of basic materials. Walk inside the network real quick, which is right here. So I have to get up to here. 
up to my up to this line, which I can visualize with this power pole here. So if I request some more express track, because I need it, that's for sure. Uh, let's see, I need a hundred at least. So come on, thank you. Is that it? Already? Oh yeah. Forgot they had the stack size bonus. Okay, got the underground part. Let's make a left turn here. And go underground. As far as we can. And then we'll pop back up like that. And we will continue on our way. And then we should be able to go up like this. And instead of making another underground express track, we can make an underground fast track and make this guy underground right here. So I can kind of go past him. And then from here, uh, I'm in the network. Yep, all right. So now I can put down two of these passive provider chests. I don't think I need very fast, but actually I think I might need very fast. Let's do very fast. And then do some power poles. And then bam. Get more gems. So quite a quite a lot of backup here, but I, sh I should be able to get through it pretty fast with these very fast inserters, and I should be okay as far as defense goes in the outpost. Uh, if anything happens, we'll be able to we'll, we'll be notified, obviously. Uh, but yeah, lots lots of gems now. So uh, with that being said, we can probably come over here now and turn on the sapphire production or the sapphire usage for the advanced batteries that are being used for my war science pack. And everything else should be... Yeah, I got plenty of emeralds too. So yeah, everything else should be okay. And we'll make it, we'll start making more rubies and we'll be, we'll be good. Okay. So, with that being said, we're actually past time. I wanted, just, I wanted to make sure I got that finished before I ended the episode. But as always, my name's Oni. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you next time.